hi leos welcome back to my channel so today we're about to do a general reading for your sign this may or it may not resonate with everyone just take it how it applies to you if it does okay so we're going to go through the main energies first and we'll clarify as well as pull your advice messages from spirit at the end all right so leo you've got the world the magician and also the queen of swords um i'm seeing two groups of you here yep some of you the cycle closed out it's ended and i don't know if there was a breakup or a divorce or Whatever the case was, it looks like the two of you are not really dealing with each other anymore, okay? Some of you, I feel like this connection, it um it drained the hell out of you. It did because in the past position, we do have the strength card, which is your card, okay? Some of you could have been dealing with another Leo, but the strength card is all about perseverance, overcoming something that was, again, very challenging or difficult for you, but you're releasing that energy now and you're focusing more so on yourself, your future, and just putting the past behind you, all right? Um, some of you, you had to release this, okay, Leo, so that you could come back into your power here with the magician. This is a very powerful energy. This is about manifesting. This is about creating and focusing on what it is that you really and truly want, okay? Something that's actually going to benefit you because some of you, that connection, it just, it wasn't, okay, guys? Now, um, others of you, because again, I'm seeing another group of you, some of you, you still want this person. You're still attracted to them. You're still drawn to them. And you may feel like something can still manifest between the two of you, but maybe you're not really showing your emotional side to them right now, Leo. With the Queen of Swords, this can be someone who's kind of detached, a little bit cold, or, you know, maybe you gave them the cold shoulder or you um, maybe you called them out on something as well, okay, with this Queen of Swords. So it's like you got love for them, but you're not really um you're you're just not showing it you're keeping your cool basically all right leo now they've got the eight of pentacles the star some of you this could be an aquarius that you're dealing with and also the six of pentacles some of you they want to heal this connection they still have faith in this that this can work out but um somebody here feels like this connection is one-sided okay or like the other person is just not putting forth enough effort or things are a little bit imbalanced here but somebody does want to bring balance back to the situation you guys um may feel like this person is really busy or they're you know just not really putting you as a priority maybe they got a lot on their plate with work okay with that eight of pentacles being there or this could be you all right leo but let's go through and clarify okay spirit please clarify the world the magician and also the queen of swords for leo and then over there on the left, um, in the past position, we've got the full card. Some of you could have been dealing with an Aries. Okay. Also the strength card, like I mentioned, which is your card, the four of swords and the three of pentacles. Yeah. It looks like somebody decided to just kind of detach from this or just stop caring. Okay. And started focusing more on healing and work. Okay. With that three of pentacles there, that man has some paperwork in his hand. So I don't know if some of you have been doing a lot of paperwork or a business plan or something like that. All right. Um, maybe signing some contracts for some of you. Spirit, please clarify the world, the magician, and the queen of swords for Leo. All right, so we've got the nine of cups, the five of wands, and the king of pentacles. Yeah, some of you, like I said, you're just going to focus on your um your money your job your career okay um just your overall well-being <clears throat> excuse me um there could be a little bit of stubbornness or pride that you have when it comes to this person okay leo some of you you've had a lot of conflict with them okay maybe a lot of arguing or bickering with this five of wands i don't know if you guys are going through this now or if this was happening in the past but <clears throat> i feel like you'll come out of that energy okay if you're going through that now because you got the nine of cups which is about happiness wish fulfillment getting what you want okay so some of you the cycle closed out and you've come to terms with that okay you're actually at peace with it leo with that nine of cups all right but again, like I said, others of you, you still want this person or this could be somebody new, okay? Just take it how it applies to you. And if it is resonating, feel free to get in the comments and, you know, let me know, all right? Spirit, please clarify the Eight of Pentacles, the Star card, and the Six of Pentacles for Leo's version. Could be some competition involved in this situation as well. Or maybe somebody's already in another relationship or marriage here. Spirit, please clarify the Eight of Pentacles, the Star, and also the Six of Pentacles for Leo's person. All right, so we've got the Five of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person, they do have feelings for you, Leo, but they don't show it. Yep, some of you they don't, okay, because they've got the Five of Pentacles, um right here by this eight of pentacles so i don't know if you feel like they left you on the cold or they may feel like you've done this to them but 
this is about abandonment, rejection, or somebody just feeling kind of ignored, possibly. Maybe somebody ghosted this connection. There is still some physical um, desire and attraction here, okay, with this King of Wands and this Ace of Cups. They may want a new start or a new beginning, possibly, okay. Or some, some of you, this is just somebody new flat out that you've got your eye on, okay, Leo? Somebody that you've never, you know, dealt with or really have a lot of history with, okay? Or this is what you want to come in. You don't want anything to do with the past for some of you, okay? You just want to start over. Not saying that you're necessarily trying to rush into it, all right? But um, Spirit, please clarify the Nine of Cups, the Five of Wands, and also the King of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Nine of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the King of Pentacles for Leo. Oops. All right. So we got the nine of pentacles, the seven of swords and the tower could have been a Scorpio you guys were involved with. It looks like there was some deception in this situation. Okay. With that seven of swords um, or lies, cheating, I don't know. Or this could be you just um, walking away from this situation. Okay. Ghosting it or just turning your back and focusing more so on yourself. Okay. The nine of pentacles is about independence, singlehood, just doing your own thing. Okay. So let's go around again. Spirit, please clarify the five of pentacles, the king of wands, and also the ace of cups for Leo's person. Clarify the five of pentacles, the king of wands, and the ace of cups for Leo's person here. So we've got the King of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. Some of you, this person is a player. Yep. I hate to say it like that, Leo, but maybe you guys are already aware of this anyway. Okay. So you could be dealing with someone who's in and out of your life or they act kind of cold and detached towards you. Or again, it's like they are more busy with their work or their family or whatever else is going on. And they may, you may feel like they don't really make a lot of time for you in this uh, situation. Okay. But um, with this Ace of Swords and the Knight of Wands coming out, I feel like this person, they may want to come back towards you um, and speak up here if you guys have been, you know, not really uh, communicating much with each other. Some of you, this is a friends with benefits type of situation or there's a lot of sexual or lustful energy here between the two of you. And keep in mind, if it's not the whole reading that resonates, Leo, it could just be bits and pieces, okay? It's um, a lot of people who watch these, so it may not be the exact same situation for all of you. Just take it how it applies, all right? Spirit, please clarify the, Knight of the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and also the Tower for Leo. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and also the Tower All right, so we've got deception, and it says disingenuous, selfish, intentions, lying, cheating, etc. And that's probably why the Seven of Swords came out. All right, so I don't know if it's you doing this, Leo. I'm not here to pass judgment, okay? And if it's not, it could be the other person, but it looks like, um, I don't know, maybe something's kind of toxic in this situation. We've also got hard to catch, and it says challenge, chasing, and, <clears throat> excuse me, timing. So either this person feels like you're hard to catch, or you may feel like this about them, okay? But with this being on top of the seven of swords, some of you, you're you're walking away from this situation possibly, all right? And then we also have fear and it says, I want to reach out, but I don't want to feel rejected if you don't respond, okay? So it looks like somebody wants to talk here, but may end up uh, holding back due to fear of, you know, rejection or something else, okay? Spirit, please clarify the king of swords, the ace of swords, and the knight of wands for Leo's person, and then we'll pull your advice messages, okay? <clears throat> clarify the king of swords, the ace of swords, and also the knight of wands, One more, the King of Swords, the Ace of Swords, <clears throat> excuse me, the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> All right, so we've got Freak, and it says, I want wild, fun, and nasty sex with you. You really turn me on, okay? So some of you, this person, they are physically attracted to you. But like I was saying, some of you, this is a friends with benefits type of situation, or maybe this person is already in another relationship. Um, so maybe it's just kind of like a sex thing here. Not for all of you, though. All right. We've also got guarded and it says my walls are up because I don't want to be hurt or taken advantage of. And we have doubt and second guessing and it says sometimes I type the message but erase it. Okay, so that's what came out there, Leos. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it looks like, to be honest, there's not a lot of stability within this situation for some of you as far as this being... Um, a solid commitment, <clears throat> excuse me, or there's a lot of disloyalty in this uh, for some of you, all right? 
So we're going to pull your advice messages. Okay, you guys, these may pertain to this uh, situation or it could be about something else in your life. Just take it if it you know resonates with you. So that wanted to come out and that says frustration and it says frustration. No, it says surrender frustration. Frustration does not open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Okay, so that's for those of you that feel kind of, I don't know frustrated with this situation or if there's been some arguments going on with you and this person you may want to kind of step back and release that energy okay so it doesn't you know give you anxiety or get you all worked up okay or distract you um let's pull some other messages spirit show me two more messages that you have for leo's show me two more advice messages that you have for leo's All right, so we've got surrender your fear of intimacy and it says you're ready to let love in compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart because some of you maybe you're blocked off or you're afraid to let this person in maybe you know you don't want to be hurt or um, taken advantage of by them okay so there could be some um, you know you got your guard up basically okay or it could just be when it comes to relationships period some of you um, maybe you kind of push people away a little bit or you're just not, you don't want to rush into anything is what I'm trying to say. Okay, Leo. Now, next, we also have surrender to your soul's path. And it says your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. Okay, so that's what came out, Leos. If this resonated, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, I appreciate you guys tuning in. And also be sure to hit the bell notification as well. That way you guys are aware of when I upload new content. All right, wish you the best. Take care.